Hey, welcome to today's video in Codenado. So today we're basically, today and um, our next video tomorrow, we're going to go into um, a new area of Java, which involves the wrapper class. And within the wrapper class, we're going to have um, two main things, integer and double. So let's go in and see what the wrapper class does and how we're going to use it. Okay, so to start off, when we're creating a wrapper class, a wrapper class is basically going to involve um, integers and doubles. So there's a, a lot of things we can do with the wrapper class, so let's go in. So I've started by creating a class called wrapper, and within this we're going to start by creating our public static void main and remember this is just a normal thing that we do start off okay so within this this is where we're going to execute our commands okay so we're going to start off by um Declaring an integer. This is what we're gonna use our wrapper class for. Okay, so we're gonna cre create a new object. Okay, so we can do this by if you remember, we start off with our data type. We start off with our data type. So that's gonna be integer and whatever um, name you want us to declare for your object. So we'll just call mine's um, num1. Okay, and we'll set this equal to. Um, because we're do because we're creating a new object within our wrapper class, uh, we want to start off with typing new to declare so that Java knows we're creating a new object, and we're gonna type in integer because it's gonna be a new integer, and this is also part of our uh, wrapper class because this is where we're defined. We're using a class name, and integer is a wrapper class. Okay, so we use integer. And let's type in the number that we actually want. So, for example, let's do 123. Okay, making it simple. And let's let's just start by printing out so we can printing this number out so we can see how it changes while we include um, different features of the integer wrapper class. So we can start off by just printing it by system out. And we'll just call on num1. So let's just go in and explain what we're doing in each of these. Well, first you might want to see what error I have here. Okay. So, value into 3. Okay. So in this line right here, we're obviously creating um, a new object called num1, and here we're just printing out this object, just essentially just displaying num1, which we should get as 123. Okay, so if we run this, we're obviously going to see. 123 right here okay that's great now now we're going to see what we can do with this um, integer wrapper class so there's three main things that we can do with this the first is I'll just create I'll just start commenting so that we know what we're looking at okay so the first thing that we can do is called integer min value okay so what's this gonna do this is gonna find the like Java it has restraints when it comes to integers doubles in strings so there's gonna be you can't go down you can't go up to infinity or negative infinity so there's a limit so integer dot min value will allow us to see that limit and see what the minimum value you can have in Java okay so it's just gonna show the least 
value according first. After that, we have, as you can guess, the integer max value. And this is pretty much just declaring the max value that Java can handle. So let's actually see what these values are. So we can do this with simple system dot out. And to see this, we can just do integer dot max value. This is going to display our max value. Let's just clear that. Okay. Simple. Simple as that. And after that, let's just display our min value. Do that by just typing integer dot min. So yeah, that's pretty much it. These are the main things we can do with our integer wrapper class that we saw you right here. So whenever you see, um, it's important not to get confused with um, integer versus Int. int is simply the data type when you type it all lowercase with no capital well, all lowercase and just with int this is just is this is simply a data type when we have it in its complete word form this is going to be this is what we call a wrapper class okay so let's run this and see what we get so we should see obviously our 123 and here we're gonna see our maximum and minimum values. So let's run this and see what we get. Okay, so our max value. So that's a pretty big number. It's not gonna be often that you're gonna have to exceed this number, but if you do, it's gonna result in an error. Okay, yeah, so that's pretty much it for this video. Next time we will see um, the wrapper class, the double wrapper class. Thanks for watching. And don't forget to subscribe.